Stop relying on facts or education to drive sales. Have you ever tried to use facts to convince someone with an opposing political view that you are right and they are wrong? I imagine you have. I also imagine that like the rest of us who have tried to do this, you have failed. The fact is, it is very difficult indeed to change strongly held views using facts alone. Indeed, research suggests that when we try to do this, it is more common than not for existing beliefs or opinions to become further entrenched. As stupid as it might sound, research suggests that opinions are very difficult to change using facts alone. This point is made forcefully in the book The Psychology of Stupidity. This point is also demonstrated in research into texting whilst driving. One study found that despite 58% of road crashes being caused by distractions and 97% of teens recognising this fact, some 43% of teens still text on a regular basis. Further to this, a second study found that educating teens about the dangers of texting whilst driving, no matter how comprehensive, has little or no effect on texting behaviour, especially over the medium to long term. The same was found to be true for drink driving, driving whilst under the influence of drugs, and driving whilst tired. Presenting the facts or educating teens, or indeed adults, has at best a limited effect on behaviour. Research has found that sustainable behaviour change will not occur until an emotional connection has been established. Insights. One, presenting facts is not an effective way to change consumer behaviour. Two, education is not the silver bullet in managing consumer behaviour. And three, an emotional connection is essential for sustainable behaviour change. Recommendations. Firstly, to boost sales or indeed to change behaviour in any way, first establish an emotional connection. Secondly, avoid simply presenting facts to change consumer behaviour, as this can simply entrench existing views. And thirdly, establish an emotional connection and then educate to achieve sustainable behaviour change. To find out more, visit www.djohncarlsonesq.com. That's www.djohncarlsonesq.com. Or email me, John C. at djohncarlsonesq.com. That's John C. at djohncarlsonesq.com. I'm John Carlson. Thanks for listening.